Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at AMC Entertainment. Take some more AMC. AMC had a very nice day today. We're up 12.5%. And this is what I was talking about in terms of the fact that a lot of buyers are down in this area. They're more than willing to buy shares of AMC. And the fact that we've broken above kind of this area, we saw this breakout and so this was to be expected. Now, one thing to obviously pay attention is the potential pullback that will be happening now if the if the pullback were to happen it will just be to this back to this support again so really nothing much to be worrying about and again so the movement will be something like this to that now the momentum for amc is obviously very good the goal of amc has still the same but in terms of price action we are looking very very healthy right now and we have a really nice bullish sentiment we're almost breaking that previous market structure so this is obviously very very good now First thing to take a look at is obviously the shares on loan. Shares on loan today at 196.04 million shares for AMC. The cost to borrow at 18.69. So we've seen an increase in the shares on loan from yesterday to today. We've also seen an increase in the cost to borrow from yesterday to today. Now, one thing you can definitely see is the rate of the cost of borrow and the shares on loan increasing is very, very slow right now. But that is obviously fine. The amount of money they still have to pay is actually still increasing. As long as we see right now the cost of borrow going up, it's very, very good. And the fact that shares on loan still going up is also very, very good. Now, do be aware that obviously they want to borrow as many shares, especially the fact we've seen a day like this now where we see such a bullish day for amc now 12.5 percent is obviously very very good in terms of normal price action normal standard market structure it's obviously very very good and it gives a very nice incentive and so because we are applying bullish pressure like this we do have to watch it out for the fact that they will obviously borrow more shares to short against us because something that they want to do is obviously bring the share price of amc down to get everyone else to sell their amc shares and so you know something that we have to watch out for is the increased in shorting pressure that will soon come probably next week that we have to watch out for you know something that they want to do will just be to drag it all the way down against this level again this support level of 824 as you guys can see we opened very nicely today and you know so price action and technical analysis is something that is still to be used for amc and i think it's still obviously very very important but yeah one thing that they will definitely want to do is to apply the pressure so what we could be seeing going to next week and kind of the weeks ahead is actually the shares on low increasing the all-time high is around 197 a million but i definitely think we are going to be seeing higher shares on loans than that because it will be unhealthy for them to see the price going up so high and also the fact that they still have to use so much money to kind of borrow these shares previously when they were 196 million shares on loan they were only paying nine percent now it's more than doubled what they have to pay and the cost is only going to increase so again it's very very bullish pressure now something i do want to talk about and i think it's on everyone's mind is obviously the threshold security list for ape so as you guys can see so today's the 9th of september and normally when you know we talk about this the previous day data for threshold list will be updated so we can see right now ape is not actually on the threshold list for the 8th of september but something very very interesting was that today when i saw this earlier in the day i want to i went ahead and checked interactive brokers and checked their threshold list now you guys can see this was last updated friday 09 september 2020 uh, 220404 edt now this was updated and there is screenshot this is all on the internet as well so this is not like something i just edited and what you can see is that ape was actually on the list and you know this was so this was 040 eastern time but then when i open up a new one it obviously is now is a new updated at 430 so this is actually 1630s uh edt where ape is no longer on the list and so this is obviously very very confusing no one knows what's happening apparently someone called the interactive brokers and they told him that it was on the list now but there is no proof of this and so i just thought this was very interesting now this could be a move made by the hedge funds to obviously remove it off the list you know whether or not they've actually settled it now how they normally get it off the list is that they will have cleared it the previous day and i'll be talking more about that later on and right now is apparently the quote unquote they have cleared it for um ape but you know so this is something that i am very very curious about there's not been much said about this so guys if you know anything more about this or if you guys have any theories comment down below but i thought that this was obviously very interesting so now what does this mean that they're no longer on the list well firstly 
we have to look at when is a security removed from the threshold list. A security ceases to be a threshold security and is removed from the list when it does not meet the threshold requirements for five consecutive settlement days. So it hasn't been five consecutive settlement days. And so it is still a threshold security, but you know, it's obviously being, it's not on the list for the eighth. And so that is obviously very, very interesting. And again, if we continue to see and not on the list, it could potentially mean that they've covered it fully. But here is where it's obviously interesting. So there is a tweet and it's an eight not on the NYSE threshold list tonight, meaning FTDs were quote unquote supposedly closed out. If so, there will be price action in buying pressure. And this is very, very true. So let's take a look at Ape today. So Ape actually also had a nice day. We are up 8.22% for Ape broken above that market structure of kind of the lows that or the highest that was created. So for Ape, for technical wise, it's looking bullish, but there's not enough data for us to go off of about. So I don't want to talk too much for the technical analysis. It was just that the market structure is obviously there. But something that to be noted is that the threshold list, so Ape was on the threshold list for the 8th of September, meaning that Dave bought Ape on this candle. But if you take a look at this now, if we saw a candle like what we saw today, yes, uh, on yesterday, that's more making sense. I definitely think that if they wanted to cover all of those shares, it would have been a bigger candle. But nevertheless, it would have proven to be a stronger argument. But if we take a look at yesterday's candle, we see not high volume. The volume today is actually higher. Yesterday was at 8.771, today we're at 10.184. So there's a difference in volume. There's a, also a difference in, you know, yesterday went up 0 0.59, whereas today we went up 8.22. Now, if they cover the shares yesterday, why do we only see a 0.59% move? If they've managed to cover a stock that was on the threshold list and they have no longer, they cleared out all of it, how is it moved up only 0.59%? But also the fact that if we look now, normally when you see a candle like this, so obviously there was no kind of, I mean, I did say that there is somewhat of a market structure. Normally when you see a candle like this, with it shows that there is actually more pressure coming in from the seller rather than the buyer. Now, apes are obviously not selling their ape shares. The people who are shorting and selling shares is hedge funds. But if they're covering, why is there more pressure on the seller side than on the buyer side? And so all of this, you know, is something to obviously be looking into. And, you know, they could, I could be, I don't want to be biased and just obviously say one thing. And if there was actual data, I would have said, okay, they've cleared it. They've made it fair and square. They're off the list. But how can we say that when, if we look at the off exchange volume for eight, and this is actually for today, and this is actually quite interesting. So normally we're sitting at 60 ish percent and higher. But today we're on 52.08 and the day was we are not actually as high as 60 percent we see candles like this but you know still nevertheless 52 percent is still a very high percentage and why you know so how can i say anything that is saying that it's fair and square when i can't see the data proven to be covered by them if 52 percent of the transaction was done off exchange and so, you know, all of this is what Ape is doing. It's bringing all of this to light. Previously, there were people who knew that. Previously, there was people who, quote unquote, had theories of it, but they couldn't make it come to light. They make, couldn't make it come true because there was no ex kind of data. There was no proof. But now this is the proof coming out. This is the proof coming out for, for Ape. This is the proof coming out for AMC. If we also take a look at this picture, this is actually the percentage turnover. Now this just shows the diamond hand we have for Ape. And also if you take a look at AMC, 0.04% and for Ape, 0.02%, which again, does not support the argument of them able to buy so much shares of Ape and seeing so much seller pressure still. So, you know, what we got to understand, again, this is not financial advice, so do take a while to take care of Please do your own due diligence. But I have talked about this. Everyone's eye was on this whole threshold list, even me, right? This is what we've been covering. But something that I kept on going on about was make sure we are zen. If something were to happen, make sure we do not get this encouraged by what happen. We knew they had ways around this. We just didn't know how they were going to get around this. We always knew that they were corrupt. We always knew they had ways to exploit this. And this is how they're exploiting this. Now, it definitely is psychological how they're doing this to obviously attack kind of the morale of apes to bring it down. Obviously, it's done the actual opposite. But I feel like there will be people who will get disencouraged by this. But make sure we understand that goal has always been the same. 
it's for them to pay from cost to borrow, it's for the shares on loan to increase, and it's for the day where the synthetics fully come to light, where Adam Aaron himself can go to the SEC and talk about synthetics and other reasons when we see a recession that they run out of money. You know, that's when we can get AMC to squeeze. And so this was a move done by hedge funds, obviously attack us. And you know, this is only my opinion, but make sure you don't get this encouraged. Make sure that when we're approaching April right now, we are at a neutral of emotions. Do not go on the roller coaster of emotions because that is very, very bad for you. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Comment down below what you guys think. I'll catch you guys next time.